up next is a UFC Heavyweight Showdown. martial artist at his core and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup everyone talked about him being well-rounded it's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board champion for boxers среди любителей опасный нокаут и быстрые руки he'll grapple tonight maybe he'll strike makes him a hard guy to prepare for Кусенкай. Высокая точность ударов. Машина. Саня машина. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 13 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Walt the Big Chicken Harris. And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander. Drago Volta! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lovin. The veteran Eve Lovin draws the assignment here. You ready? other's radars for quite some time tonight it shall be done both guys well rounded we think we're getting a kickboxing match so you just don't know right you don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategies the way that they need to this is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen it put on these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other timing the shots pretty well here early dc he's doing a great job of mixing things up keeping busy being very active Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by the other. Left hand punch the clip. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Alexander Volkov. Beautiful leg kick throw. Beautiful strike. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Double leg shot. Oh, he slams his opponent down. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Switching stances here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Landed the overhand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Shot at double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches, and now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, second round is getting right. underway. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very deep. That's what we saw. Strike oh, over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, and he tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Volkov gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the fan of is his cardio the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts pinpoint accuracy on that kick no wind up no tell just a brutal kick yeah he's got to he's got to start checking kicks look at that leg look at that leg, look at that leg. another big takedown Both stand up. Oh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid. So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander Drago Volkov. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. You knock out a man in a cage fight. 
I can't think of anything then. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.